Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining me for craft today. We're going to be making these really cute snowmen. It's really easy. Um, all you'll need to do this craft is your glue and also some crayons and a pair of scissors. Um, it's, it's a quick craft. And if you remember last week, we read a story about a friendly little mouse trying to make that perfect bowl of soup and his friendly snowman friend. Um, so this craft will go along perfectly with the story that we read. And since it's a quick craft, we'll also have time to do a fun little flannel board game with my friend Mouse. So well, let's get started on the craft. Okay, so in your craft kit bags, you have this white piece of paper that has your snowman's body pieces on it. You got three circles, and you also have a scarf that we've drawn on there for you. Um, and then in your craft kit bag, you have a little strip that's going to go on his hat. You have the snowman's hat, his nose, a couple of buttons, his googly eyes, and his stick arms too. So to start off, what you're going to do is use your scissors and you're going to cut out all three circles and you also can cut out your scarf. Now if you want, you can color your scarf any way you'd like before you cut it out or you can cut it out first and color it, whichever, whichever one you want to do first. Um, but start off by cutting out your circles in your scarf and decorating your scarf before we start gluing them together. Okay, so I got my pieces all cut out and I got my scarf colored. So the next thing we're going to do is start putting our snowman together. So this is where you're going to need your glue. And I'm gonna start off with my big piece first. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right at the top there. And I'm gonna take the medium size circle and I'm gonna stick that right on top. And then I'm gonna take my smaller circle for his head. I'm gonna put a little glue on top of that middle piece and I'm gonna stick the snowman's head right on top. So you have his bottom, his belly, and his head. And then next you can take your scarf. I colored mine purple and blue and pink. You color yours any way you'd like. And I'm just gonna put a little glue right underneath his head here. So that way he can keep his neck nice and warm. So a little bit of glue, and you just stick his scarf right on. And then next, we have two little pom-poms here, and I'm gonna use those for his buttons. So we're gonna put two little dots of glue right on his belly, and we're gonna stick the pom-poms on there for the snowman's buttons. And then next we have his carrot nose. Do you remember from the story that we read last week about perfect soup and how Murray the mouse was so desperate to find a carrot to put in his soup when actually it was his snowman friend that could have used it for his nose. And remember, he ended up giving that snowman his carrot and they enjoyed a bowl of soup together at the end of the story. So there's his nose. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this little red strip. It's a little glittery strip to kind of make his hat a little fancy. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right across the middle here. And I'm gonna stick that strip right on his hat, just like that. And then next, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on top of my snowman's head and stick his hat right on top. Keep his head nice and warm. There's his hat. And then next, I've got his googly eyes. Now with these, they just peel right off the paper. So you can just pull them right off there and stick them right on his face. There's one. And two. So there's my snowman's eyes and his hat and his warm scarf. Next, I'm going to take a black crayon. You can use any crayon you wish, and I'm just gonna make a little smiley face on my snowman. And I do that by making these little dots, almost like little pieces of coal. And there's his little smiley face. Now next we have his arms. Now I 
I suggest waiting for your snowman to dry just a little bit so that way all the pieces don't fall apart for that, dry, that glue dries. Once he's nice and dry, you can flip him over. I'll get my other one here. You can flip your snowman over and you can either use tape or you can use your glue. And you just put a little dot of glue on the back of your snowman and you just stick his little stick arms right on the back. So that way when he is all dry, you've got your finished snowman there. So pretty easy, pretty quick little craft there. Um, thanks for joining me for that. And we are going to do just a quick game with my little mouse friend. I don't know if anyone's familiar with the little mouse and the colored houses game, but it's a lot of fun. Um, so let's, uh, let's do our flannel board game. So here's our game. This is called Little Mouse, Little Mouse. Now, if you have joined me for story time or toddler time or pajama story time, you might be familiar with this game. It's pretty fun. So here's my little mouse friend and he likes to sneak around and hide in different houses and we have to guess what color house he's hiding in. Now, since we're not here in the library, I can't have you close your eyes. So I'm gonna close your eyes by covering my camera lens and then we have to guess which house he's in. So first, let's go over the color houses that we have. We have blue, orange, red, pink, green, purple, black, yellow, and white. So when we close our eyes, my mouse friend is going to pick a house to hide in. And when we open them, we have to say this little rhyme. This is how we call out to my mouse friend. We say, little mouse, little mouse, are you in the, and we have to pick the color house and see if we're right about which one we chose. So first I'm going to cover your eyes and we're going to see what color house he's going to hide in. So cover your eyes, no peeking. Let's see what house mouse ends up in. He's still scurrying around. Okay, open your eyes. Hmm, what color house do you think a mouse is hiding in? Let's see, should we try for the color black? Let's see if the mouse is in this house. So remember the rhyme, we say, little mouse, little mouse, are you in the black house? No, not in the black house. Let's see, what other color do we want to pick? How about pink? Say it with me. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the pink house? Oh, no, not hiding in the pink house. Hmm. How about orange? Let's try orange. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the orange house? <gasps> There's the mouse. He was hiding in the orange house. Good job. Okay, I'm going to cover your eyes and mouse is going to skirt and he's going to try to trick us again. Let's see what house mouse ends up this time. Cover your eyes. No peeking. Let's see. He's scurrying around. He's trying to find what house he wants to go in. Hmm. Okay, open your eyes. Let's see. Should we try the yellow house? Let's try yellow. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the yellow house? No, not in the yellow house. Hmm, how about green? You say it with me. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the green house? No, nope, no mouse in the green house. Let's see, how about blue? Say it with me. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the blue house? Oh, look, there's our mouse. He was hiding in the blue house. Good job. All right, one last time. I'm gonna cover your eyes. No peeking. Let's see what house mouse ends up this time. Still scurrying around. He's gonna really try to trick us. Open your eyes. Let's see, have we tried the red house? Let's try the red house. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the red house? Oh, no, 
No, not in the red house. Let's see, have we tried the white house? Let's try the white one. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the white house? No, no mouse in the white house. How about, let's see, have we done purple? Let's try purple. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the purple house? No, not in the purple house, oh my goodness really tricky. Let's see. How about yellow? Should we try yellow? Okay, say it with me. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the yellow house? Hey, looky there. There's Mr. Mouse. He was hiding in the yellow house. So that's our little mouse game. I love that one. It's one of my favorites. It's a good way to practice colors and it's always fun to try to guess where that little mouse is hiding. So thanks for joining me today. Um, I will have story time for you next week, so I will see you then. But until then, remember, be safe, stay healthy, and be kind.